Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of What the Smut Book Reviews. Thank you for joining me. My name is Candice. If this is your first visit here, I appreciate you taking a chance. You will not be disappointed, at least for comedic relief. If you're looking for legitimate book recommendations, the ratio is about 60-40. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing for you guys book number two of the College Obsession Romance series. Um, I think it's just called College Obsession series. I'm just adding in romance because <laughs> it's a romance um, by Daryl Banner. Um, if you guys have watched my previous review for Daryl Banner's books uh, or book, since uh, this is only the second book I've read by him, it is a male author, my first ever male author that I've read. Um, what a revelation. Uh, the first book in this series, which I have already reviewed, is called Read My Lips. You can find it a few videos below, depending on when this gets released, because I don't know. I'm not the best, you know, like I'm, I'm lazy AF. So this book is called Beneath the Skin. And it is the second book in the series. There are three books in the series. It is, according to Amazon, 300 pages. Uh, it is currently free to read with Kindle Unlimited. If you don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, um, I will give them a quick little plug, even though they're not paying me. I wish they would, um, because hello, sponsorships. <laughs> um, but Kindle Unlimited is a monthly subscription service for Kindle owners. Uh, Kindle is offered, obviously, it's an ebook reader through Amazon, and Kindle Unlimited is offered through Amazon, sort of like a virtual library. You check out books, uh, and you can, I think, keep out like up to 10 books at a time, and then you read them and you just remove them from your device, and then you can get more. There are thousands of authors that are currently free to read with Kindle Unlimited. So you won't want for books no matter what category you read. Okay, if it's romance, if it's whatever, there's tons. Um, whether they're all good, IDK my BFF Jill. Um, if you don't get that reference, <laughs> get the fuck out <laughs> because <laughs> I'm showing I'm showing my age. I don't know. We're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it. Uh, so if you want to purchase this book, you can currently get it for $2.99 for your Kindle, or you can buy the paperback, which I'm guessing is probably like a large paperback for $11.95. Not terrible. A large paperback is about the same size as a hardcover book. It's just paperback. So hardcover books retail brand new for like what, 20, 25 bucks, $11.95. It's not going to fucking kill you. So just chill. Um, so I will read you guys the blurb and then we can break it down and I'll give you my rating because that's my spiel. And then um, I'll let you guys go about your merry way. And if you make it to the end where the bloopers are, you may not even need them because this whole, the regular video might be just full of bullshit shenanigans. Okay, so the blurb is written from the POV of the main male character whose name is Brant. Uh, if you have read Read My Lips or if you listen to the review or watch my review for that book, you will know that uh, the character from that book, the male character Clayton, has two male roommates, Brant and Dimitri. So the second book is Brant's story and the third book is Dimitri's story. So this book, uh, the main male character is Brant and the blurb it looks like is from his point of view. So just keep that in mind as I'm reading it. So the blurb for this one says, they call me a player, but really I'm a lover. I fall in love seven days a week. Give me a few minutes and I'll charm my way into any woman's heart. Give me a few hours and I'll have her flat on her back, headboard dented, panties on the lampshade and begging for more, guaranteed. Until I'm knocked off my feet, by Nell, the banging art school chick with the killer bod. No, it isn't some love at first sight kind of thing. In fact, I hate how she looks at me with those sharp, gorgeous eyes and I'm tripping over my feet, my swagger lost. 
What is it about this woman that drives me crazy? She deflects all my advances. She doesn't laugh at my jokes. She makes me feel like I'm the joke. That's okay. Hard to get is a game I know very well and I'm ready to play. Okay, so this is a, my nose is itching. This is a college-based romance. So are the other two, right? Um, so it does take place, I guess, around the age range of like, 19 to 23 ish 24 ish whatever um and brant is the lead male character nell is the female lead and she he is basically like when he was in like middle school he had zero game like he would piss himself if he tried to talk to a girl at that point in time, his best friend Clayton, who is the male character, main male character from the first book, uh, he was the one with all the swagger and he was pulling chicks left and right and like he was trying to give Brant pointers on how to pull girls. And fast forward to college, now the roles have not really reversed because Clayton is not like anti-woman, I guess, but he lost his hearing and so he kind of shuns everyone, but Brant did like a full 180. Is that? Yeah, because the 360 is all the way around, right? Okay, so a full 180, and he got some swagger, turned into a little playboy, bangs everything in sight. You see where I'm going with this? Uh, so he runs into this uh, art student who in the first meeting is very cute, very quirky, very funny. Um, very awkward situation. Like he's just finished having sex with another girl in like an empty art studio and he's naked and his, the, you know, the girl leaves him and he's like trying to get his clothes together. But then class starts filing in and he's like behind a little partition, but he's butt naked. And she sees his clothes across the room and she's like, fuck and so she you know she goes behind the thing and she's like oh <laughs> hey like but in like a very bitchy art student kind of way okay um I will be honest in the beginning of the book I did not like Nell as a character I thought she was very rude very like standoffish very like my shit don't stink kind of but as you read through the book you come to realize why that is like she su suffered some childhood trauma and you know she, it, it it explains why she is the way she is and then the interaction between her and Brandt it just develops in such a cute way that you just can't be mad at her anymore you know what I mean um but you know he tries to go after her and she's just like no no like I've seen you with your little friend Dimitri, uh, you know, walking around campus taking pictures of girls' butts and, you know, you're not the kind of dude that I want to get involved with because I'm just going to be like a banging bail for you and I'm not into that. So, mm -mm. Um, he's very persistent and over time he realized, like he becomes, how should I explain this? He becomes a deeper version of himself than what he thought he was because of his interactions with her. So, you know, he basically, um, not that she turns him into a man, but she kind of turns him into a man. Like he begins the book as like, you know, selfish playboy. And he ends the book as a focused, more driven, more, more centered, adult human being which is good so um for the rating for this book uh i'm gonna give it an eight and a half i don't remember what i rated um desi and clayton's story but i want to say it was probably around there if i had to choose between the two desi and clayton's story would still be my favorite <laughs> just because maybe it was because it was the first book that i read in the series maybe it was because I don't know, I don't, I haven't read many books where the main character is deaf, like that added an extra little element to it that I didn't really expect. Um, this book was extremely cute. 
very well written, very easy to follow the plot. The relationship between Brant and Nell um, progresses uh, in a way that kind of brings both of them out of their shells. Like they, they, they help, they feed off each other, you know, even though at first it would seem like they're not a good match. Um, I really enjoyed the book. I'm now almost completely finished reading Dimitri's story, which <laughs> I'll, I'm also really liking. Um, and I'll do a review on that one when I finish and when I get done with all that. And then uh, I will have completed this series. Oh, and it only took me like two months. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. Um, but yeah. So I would highly recommend that you guys read this book. I would highly recommend that you read the series. If you're going to read them, I would read them in order just because I'm OCD like that. You don't necessarily have to, um, but yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't really say anything terrible about the books. Like they're very good books. They're very well written. The, the plots are really easy to follow. You know, the, the dynamics between the couples is very cute, very, you know, the, the sex, the sex element, the sex scenes, they good, okay? Purse lips, they good, okay? Um, not the craziest thing I've ever read in terms of like kinky and whatever, but definitely not vanilla, right? Definitely not like terribly written sex scenes where you, no, they good, okay? Um, uh, after I finish this series, I will probably read some more of his books just to branch out and see what other type of stuff he does. Um, and yeah, that's it for that. That's all I got for that. So yeah, uh, if you guys like me, if you like my channel, please subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you'd like if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media accounts i do have a members only facebook group uh an instagram and a twitter uh all under different variations of what the smut because i'm inconsistent and terrible uh i will put the links in the description below and i'll put a little banner right here so you guys can see the names and I really appreciate you guys joining me for another review and scene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I will see you guys in my next review. Okay. I love you guys so much. Bye. And I'm back for another video. Hair looks exactly the same as, this is a remin reminiscent of a previous video where I said hair looks exactly the same as it did in that other video that I did because I recorded them at the same time because I didn't change my hair. Whatever. Hair is what it is. Okay. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Um, uh, <laughs> The third book is called, what the fuck is the third book called? Why do I always do this? Why did I do this in the last video? I Don't take it personally, Daryl. I do this in all my fucking videos. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, the third book is called, read my lips, beneath the skin. I don't remember. I can't. I can't remember. I'm going to review it because I'm almost completely finished with it. But when I review it, I will be sure to write down the fucking name of the book. So we won't have to go through this. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I really thank you guys for... <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Like, I, I don't... I just... <laughs> I'm like full steam ahead and then that, like I just lose all energy and I'm just like <gasps> and I just couldn't speak anymore I had to like stop and take like two or three breaths and like 
I get myself so worked up when I do these reviews because like I get so into like trying to like I'm I want you to feel what I feel and then I just get out of breath and I get like I'm not even doing any exercise bro I'm just I'm so out of shape <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever it's quarantine nobody can go to the gym I didn't go to the gym before quarantine whatever um I'm, I am the fucking worst at this. My star don't cup, don't judge me. I'm terrible for the planet. Tea. Sweet tea. Mm. I had another song that was stuck in my head earlier that I thought applied perfectly to like the beginning of the video and I was going to sing it and now I don't remember what it was. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I sang enough. I'm sure I sang enough. I always sing too much. Whatever. Another one bites the dust. Ah, it's my go-to. And another one down. And another one down. Another one bites the dust. Ah. My hair looks terrible. I can't lift my arm any higher than like, uh, like right there. So this is what my hair is today. I use my right hand to do all my makeup because I mean I usually use my right hand to do all my makeup anyway because I'm right-handed so no big loss there but to just like try and like do like top eyeliner usually I'm one of those terrible people and like every makeup artist and every YouTube beauty guru would come for me and be like stop but I'm one of those terrible people that like Pull, pulls their eye this way when they're putting eyeliner on because I just can't. I just can't get the line straight unless I do that. And I know that over time that that's gonna like, you know, cause me to start like that. Um, but I'm married and unless he leaves me, I don't have to worry about like the dating scene or anything like that. So just let myself go. Like, in the long run, who gives a shit if my eyes are droopy? You should have seen the amount of concealer that it took to cover the dark circles under my eyes from the fact that I have been incapacitated for a week and a half. Like, I just looked like the Crypt Keeper. Do y'all remember the Crypt Keeper? Do you remember the Crypt Keeper? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Still me, just underneath foundation and concealer and stuff. 